a New Hampshire bishop is denying new allegations of sex abuse dating back to his time as a parish priest in the 1980s. As Church Militant's Ben Starnes reports, the case is one of, one of hundreds filed in the state of New York. Bishop Peter Labashi of the Diocese of Manchester, New Hampshire has been accused of sexually abusing a minor multiple times. Here we go again with another allegation against a bishop. The lawsuit filed on July 14th accuses Labashi of sexually abusing a young boy in the 1980s while a parish priest in the Diocese of Rockville Center, New York. Defendants named in the lawsuit include Saints Cyril and Methodius Church and its parish school located on Long Island and the Sisters of St. Joseph, who helped run the school. One alleged incident of abuse occurred in the sacristy of a parish. The Diocese of Rockville Center has faced over 200 lawsuits since 2019 and filed for bankruptcy in 2020. New York State passed the Child Victims Act in 2019, which opened up a window for sexual abuse victims to file suit, even if the alleged abuse happened decades ago. Bishop Labashi maintains his innocence. His attorney said in a statement, he will be forced to vigorously defend against these false allegations in court. We are God's people. The Survivors Network of those abused by priests, SNAP, reacted. We worry that allowing the bishop to remain in ministry may further endanger young lives in New Hampshire. In 2019, the Manchester Diocese released the names of 73 priests accused of sexually abusing children beginning in the 1950s. Local Catholics are waiting to see how this lawsuit will play out in court. Ben Starnes, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. The two-year window for the Child Victims Act closes August 14th.